fucking talking about. So, like, they're pushing her in the car. She's talking about some taco, taco. <laughs> These jump me. These jump me. I said, oh, <laughs> you're going to transform. But she's talking about, I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, my. That's why I say, like, why she talking about people scared of me, blah, blah, blah. People not scared of you. It's like they just try to avoid you. But they already know if I have a conflict with you, I'm going to fuck you up. What's up, y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks. Hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, y'all, we're happy to announce that our Discord is officially open and free to the public. If you want to join an amazing, growing community, hit the link in our description today. Babe, what are we reacting to today? Today we're reacting to Taco. I don't play that. Fun voice. All right, I don't know what this story time is gonna be about, but we did get a lot of people that put in a request for <laughs> this video. So before we get a reaction, do us a favor, hit the like button. Because it helps us grow, hit it y'all, hit the like button. Let's go. <laughs> You like my hoodie, go tap in. I'ma tag my friend in on Shane. Melanin. Get you some the melanin lime merch. Hey. You feel me? I love green. You my favorite fucking color. I feel so goddamn rich. Before I get to the story time, I just wanna say, I need y'all to leave me a fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. One of y'all little bitches. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna snitch on you, bruh. One of y'all little bitches got me in trouble with y'all girlfriend. Fuck around and almost summoned a demon to that bitch house. Bitch, don't be goddamn DMing me like you fucking crazy. Came on a liking spree on my page, you know what I'm saying? And you know me being a nice bitch that I want to be. I went back and I liked all your pictures as well because that's that's the point of social media. To like, to engage, to interact, to follow, to be inspired. Fuck you to my... A lot of y'all using it wrong because a lot of y'all just be on here hating and dick eating. But Damn. she liked all my pictures. <laughs> so I took it upon myself to go back and like shorty pictures back. You know what I'm saying? Literally, that was it. It was just a fucking like for like spree. Ugh, like. So as I'm liking her pictures, I noticed that she got a couple pictures with a stud on her page. Okay, cool. Bitch, I'm not worried about you nor your girlfriend. I promise. Fuck you to my... So I'm finishing up my liking spree. Next thing I know, I get a goddamn DM. And I put two and two together and got goddamn 16. Because, bitch, I use my context she clues. She said you got 16. Bitch, I get a DM from the stud that was in the film pictures. She gonna DM me a screenshot of me liking all the film pictures. Bitch, you DMing me proof like this cheaters. I know what the fuck I just did. <laughs> I know what the fuck I just did, bitch. I don't need you to DM me proof. I know what I just did. I just liked all her pictures because she liked all mine. Fuck you to my... And then she gonna talk about some, you good? Bitch, I'm... <laughs> Fuck you to my, I'm, I'm, I'm well. Fuck it. <laughs> bitch, I'm, I'm doing fucking fantastic. What the, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, are you, are you trying to check me? Because me and your bitches like each other pictures. Like, it's not that goddamn serious. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the point of Instagram, baby. To like pictures. Fuck you to me. You press by some goddamn picture, bitch. You press like a goddamn space bar. You, you good? <laughs> bitch, what the fuck you think you <laughs> work at, pet boys? You good? <laughs> Stupid ass. Fuck you talking about bitch. You think you work at goddamn O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Look at that. You you good? You need a percolator, ventilator, <laughs> alternator. Stupid ass. <laughs> Carburetor. Dumb ass. <laughs> Fuck out my DMs. <laughs> Fuck out my DMs. You know bitch. something. That does make her look insecure. Almost like if somebody wanted to push up on her girl, they could. That screams insecure. Yes. Screams it. What the hell? You good? Bitch, who are you trying to check? And then motherfucker sounding like goddamn Yogi Bear. Bitch, if you don't get your goddamn... You good? Stupid ass. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. Look at that. <laughs> 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 Get your ass on my goddamn... Bitch is giving very much goddamn bursting bears. Your big hefty ass. Get your ass on my goddamn DM. Tell me how you good. I'm straight. Shawty, I just like a couple pictures because your bitch like my pictures. Fuck you, tell me. You need to ask your hoe if she good. Obviously, she seen something over here that that bitch found fucking Hi, nice. <laughs> Fuck you, tell me. We're here talking. You good? Bitch, you good? Fuck you, tell me. Your relationship straight? Your bitch good? <laughs> Got me about to turn into a goddamn therapist. Are you high right now? Do you ever get nervous? Are you single? 
I heard you fuck your girl. Is it true? You getting money? You think them niggas you with is with you? And I say, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still ain't got no intro. You did my shin. But, mm, <laughs> why I need an intro when I can really just goddamn be like, hey. <laughs> Hit this like button. We finna get into it. You good? Today I'm back with another story time. I'm starting to correlate my story times with posts I see on social media. So much shit has happened to me in 25 years. I kind of just feel like anytime I see a post that relates to me, I'm like, oh my God, I got a story time about that. You know what I'm saying? If somebody was like, you need you need to stop coming on here making up story times. Baby, if your life fucking boring, just say that. If you literally just sit in your mama basement and don't do shit but masturbate and cry, just say that. The fuck you tell me? Bitch, I'm 25. <laughs> I'm a black lesbian. I live in the middle of Atlanta. Fuck you to my, like, I'm, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> I do mushrooms. What the fuck? Like, bitch, you really think my life ain't got some goddamn shit going on? Like, if you're lame, just say that. <laughs> if you don't have fun in life, just say that. Fuck you to my, bitch, you're giving very much boring, stupid ass. I saw this post. Actually, I've seen probably like three posts. I'm gonna post all of them somewhere right here or some let me move over a little bit so i can post it i hate when i gotta post something and the post be all on top of me fucking blocking me out so i'm gonna move out the way real quick so i can post it all right boom i don't like like bullying ass mean bitches and i don't, I don't like bitches who be like grown as, not verbatim but like i said since i saw three different posts and all of them kind of tied in together all right boom I, for a little bit so i can post it I hate when okay I and for the people who are not watching they just listening the first post says hate bitches that pick and choose who to play bully with? Will Smith. Okay. Post something and the post be all on top of me, fucking blocking me out. And then the second post says, I don't like bullies or bitches that just negative for no reason. Like, bitch, move with all that. So I'm gonna move out the way real quick so I can post it. All right, boom. I don't like like bullying ass, mean bitches, and I don't, I don't like bitches who be like grown as, not verbatim, but like I said, since I saw three different posts and all of them kind of tied in together, I remember hanging out with this young, this one young woman and the bitch was literally like a fucking bully. Like, I don't know what the fuck that bitch had going on, but she was just mean to everybody for no reason. And I ain't like shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But, but hey, bitches be knowing, cause that hoe wasn't mean to me, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing about like, an, one thing I noticed about people who be like bullies or like how, how these bitches be mean girls. One thing I notice about them, they pick and choose who to be fucking rude with. So a lot of these hoes, a lot of these hoes just be walking on top of people because they feel like they can like belittle these people. And like, if it ever get physical, they know that they can beat these people up. I'm gonna let you know right now, bitch, I'm not finna box you. Huh, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your dumb ass shot in your goddamn esophagus, <laughs> bitch, I'm funny. So, <laughs> and I've said this in videos before. Y'all gotta leave people to fuck alone. People are fucking insane. People are crazy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And like, that go for everybody. I don't put shit past nobody. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not I'm not standing up here saying like, be scary and let people be little, be little you and let people bully you and let people do this and do that. Let somebody put their hands on you. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is, if you can avoid the situation, do that. <laughs> Fuck you to my... Because people be insane, my nigga. I don't watch the news. But you don't even have to watch the news to realize that people just be out here doing shit just to fucking do it. Yeah. People don't give a fuck. You think it's motherfuckers out here who not walking around free and they done killed like 14 fucking people and they just never got caught? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what the fuck somebody going through. You don't know what the fuck type of person this person is or you don't know what type of shit they battling mentally. You don't know what the fuck is attached to them. And especially nowadays. Like, you just don't know what people are going through. And if you are that last person to just push they, what is it, the straw on the camel's back. You put that last straw and then they explode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that you can't see. You know what I'm saying? People are fucking insane. So, like, it's people out here who don't give a fuck. And even if you like me and you don't watch the news, you can see that on social media. Have y'all not been seeing, like, if you follow pages like fucking The Shade Room or Hollywood. Social media is the news. Uh, have y'all not been seeing, like, lately it seemed like it's just been an influx of people just doing insane fucking shit. And, like, niggas be in the middle of a goddamn Starbucks line and pull out a fucking Beretta and da 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 what? Like, shout out to Lovely T. I know I'm pausing it right now, but Lovely T, like, I'm in her Discord. And she said that um, she, her and her friends, I don't know if you heard this, but her and her friends were supposed to hang out. They ain't seen each other in a long time. They were supposed to go downtown Minneapolis um, 
and um and hang out but all of a sudden like for whatever reason she said she had got extremely tired she had her clothes on everything ready to go but she didn't go y'all tell me why in that same area that they were supposed to be in shootings happened like Damn. they were shooting and uh, the, she showed the screenshot of the text messages where uh, the person was like, you know what, you stood us up, but I'm glad it happened. I'm paraphrasing, but I'm glad it happened because then they put posted the news article of how it went down in the same area. She's like, we were definitely going to be in that area. Damn. I know. This shit just happened, y'all. This shit crazy. But sometimes when you have a feeling like that, you need to sit your ass down. I'm going to tell you now, nowadays, more than ever, you need to listen to, follow that gut, follow yes. that intuition. As a matter of fact, my daughter had a situation like that. And I actually told her, I was just like, you don't have to go. I was like, because you're not feeling good anyway. Like, because she was, she always try to, it's like my daughter is very considerate. So somebody had invited her somewhere and she was like, I haven't hung out with them in a while. She was like, I don't want them to feel in a type of way. I said, yeah. I said, but the thing is, you already not feeling good because she went to Cincinnati. And then the weather switched up and she didn't have a coat. So she ended up, you know, like catching a little small cold or whatever. It wasn't COVID. She tested and she was negative. So I said, just let them know, like, I'm not feeling good. I don't feel comfortable coming around. You know, it's like sometimes when something is like making you feel like you don't want to go, don't go. It's like don't force yourself to do it. Mm -hmm. Why somebody needed to hear this and for their future right now? Yeah, while we saying this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wet that shit, spray that shit, the fuck up. Like niggas be like out for a morning job, and next thing you know, it's somebody in their car mowing the nigga down, running them over, and keep going. People are fucking crap. People killing their own kids. Mm -hmm. Fuck you tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like. People killing their own blood and flesh. People killing people they don't even fucking know. And not even just killing. People out here just attack. Did y'all see the video of the man smearing feces on that on that woman's face? And she was sitting in the sun. I think it was like in New York or something. If you know what I'm talking about, comment. Nigga. <laughs> and it's crazy because I think it's really bad here in America. Because I think like, and comment below if you're not in America. Like, what are the things that you're hearing about in America? Like, I think... <laughs> Like, them people in other countries, they're hearing about it over here, and it's probably sounding like crazy as hell, but it really is like that crazy. Damn. Yeah, it's just a lot of shit going on, but I don't even think it's like that in uh, all areas. Not as bad. I get to the story time, nigga. This bitch was literally sitting, like, in a New York subway or at a bus stop. I don't know where the lady was at, but she was in New York. Red flag number one. <laughs> Y'all always want to talk about Florida. Nigga, New York is insane. <laughs> the bitch is like just sitting, chilling, minding her business. Literally a fucking unknown man comes and fucking puts feces. I'm talking about like human boo boo, nigga. Shit. Fuck you talking about be giving very much diarrhea. He put that shit on her face. People, <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. People are fucking insane, nigga. Not even just on the spectrum of murdering and killing people and harming people. People will literally just do anything just to fucking do it. And this is basically what I'm trying to say. Leave people the hell alone because you don't know if you could be somebody last straw. Mm -hmm. You don't know if you fuck around and say something to the wrong person. Now your ass in the middle of a goddamn mass shooting. Fuck you to my you could be goddamn popping your shit out the car window because somebody cut you off. Bitch, next thing you know, you got goddamn 30 bullet holes on the side of your shit. Leave people alone. <laughs> I said all that to basically say, I don't like mean, just nasty people for no reason. Like, I stand on this shit. Like, what you put out, it comes back to you. I don't give a fuck if you don't believe in it. I don't give a fuck what you believe in, bitch. I'm telling you what I believe in. What you put out is always gonna return to you, bitch. The universe is like a big fucking recycling symbol or like a goddamn boomerang. You put that shit out, it's gonna always come back, my nigga. You think you're just yeah. gonna go throughout life just being nasty and mean and rude to people and animals and just putting people in weird fucking situations or stealing or lying or killing or fucking raping and pillaging shit. <laughs> you think you think that shit not gonna come back, crazy man? It's funny because like a lot of y'all think like your life's just so hard and you, you just going through so much. 
bitch, that's just your karma. <laughs> Fuck you, somebody. You, 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 you is not one of God's strongest soldiers. God is not preparing you for a miracle. He's not breaking you down at your lowest because you're about to be abundantly overflowed and overfilled with miracles. No, bitch, you're the devil. <laughs> Damn. <You're literally laughs> You know, I actually, I remember having a moment when she started, like, just seemed like shit was happening to me. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And I had to go back. Not that I've done, like, a lot of stuff, but the little stuff that I have done, just stealing. It's like, you still have to, like she said, you can't do that shit and it don't come back to you. So I got to a point, I was like, you know something? I need to watch what the fuck I do. I need to watch how the fuck I talk to people. And it's like, I just started changing. And when I started changing, I know this shit just got better. So she right, you know, when yeah. it come down to that. And integrity is very important. Meaning like you doing the right thing, even when people can't see you. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, integrity. A fucking nuisance, bitch. You're a menace. God is not preparing you for shit. This is just your karma. <laughs> Y'all, I be seeing the most demonic people repost shit on their story like that. I'm at my lowest. This happened to me and that happened to me. And I'm going through this. But I already know, you know, I already know God got something better for me coming. He literally doesn't like you. <laughs> he, he, don't, he don't even answer your prayers, nigga. You're, you're literally the fucking devil. Like, this is your karma. You just robbed an old lady last week. And you talking about Sky Daddy got something good coming for you? God you're Daddy. homophobic. <laughs> you're transphobic. What? You're lit you literally just raped someone. <laughs> nah, real shit. Let me start around and encounter each other off of Instagram. <laughs> so fucking tired bitch you love instagram bitches get it together so fuck around and encounter this young this one young woman off of instagram and i just throw this out here right now she was a stripper you know what i'm saying we we love strippers fuck you tell me this is this is this is an exotic dancer saying account fuck you tell me now mind you like i said she was a stripper you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't know what the fuck type of strippers y'all be encountering but strippers be fucking strong and built to literally yeah, yeah. swing your body weight on poles mm -hmm. and do flips and tricks and goddamn bust it wide open and then i tell her bring it back you know what i'm saying to, to do all that you have to be strong you know what i'm saying this bitch Nigga, this bitch was giving goddamn UFC fighters. That's like, the Milano Nigga, I'm 5'1". Like I always tell y'all, I'm 5'1", I'm little. I weigh 111, I'm 5'1". This bitch had to be goddamn. You feel me? Like, that, that whole, she was like probably a good 5'8". And the whole was rock solid. I, I'm talking about Rocky Balboa. I'm talking about like giving very much kangaroo jack. Fuck you talking about samurai jack, nigga. <laughs> the whole was big. You hear me? Like... Y'all know that Pokemon. <laughs> Y'all know Mewtwo. It was her real body. You know what I'm saying? She had no work done. The bitch was solid. She was one of them goddamn fitness dancers. Like, not only was she a fucking shake a booty dancer, she also was into, like, fitness and fucking health as wealth and well-being and fucking maintaining your goddamn womanhood. She used to run up fucking Stone Mountain, like, every goddamn day. The bitch was in goddamn, like, fucking Thai Jitsu. I'm overreacting now, but, like, real shit. Like, <laughs> The whole of the whole of Bruce Lee, fuck you, come out like I don't give a fuck. Nobody say this hoe was giving very much pooty pain. Like the bitch was <laughs> nigga giving very much major pain. Fuck you, come out. The bitch was built. You know what I'm saying? Like big body bands. Please don't crash. We met on Instagram, and it was kind of more so like a we we was never planning to like talk or like fuck or date. Fuck you, come out. I got I got to use that word fucking wisely now because y'all done fucked up the definition of dating. She danced at Follies and she danced at Pinups. If you live in Atlanta, you know. I'ma tell y'all like one of the first times I realized that she was just a bitch. Like she was just rude as fuck for no reason. So one of our first times linking up, I was at her job. Like I was at the fucking Shake a Booty Girl, my favorite club, the booty club. Fuck you talking about I was in that bitch like cause I'm your dirty dancer. Dancing for money, I do what you want me to do. do Fuck you talking about like to. I was in Shake a Booty Club hanging out with her. Like <laughs> she was at work. And I was just in that bitch chilling type shit. So like, this was a hey, this was the first time I realized this bitch was fucking like. I when it happened, I don't think I was looking at her like she was a bully. I think I was just looking at her like, damn, you a bitch. Like that was kind of rude. She was literally at work. Like she was in there dancing, walking around. She was giving table dances. She was on a pole. She was on stage. Woo woo woo. 
entertaining niggas, entertaining bitches. And I kind of was just in there in my own little, like, she had let me get this little section, more so just like a fucking chair. I had a table right here, I had a table right there. And then in front of me was a fucking stage and all the poles and shit. She kind of just like walking around. She coming, checking in on me every now and then. I'm just sitting there, I'm just like, I had hookah, I had drinks. At one point she was trying to give me some wings, but the wings never came. <laughs> Like, bitch, you got me in here starving, looking at all this ass and titties. I want some wings, bitch. I mean, how the fuck you gonna get give me entertainment with no food? Like, that's why black people be starting fights. Y'all always giving us entertainment, but don't feed us. You got us in here riled up off of Casamigos and hookah smoke Ugh. with no type of goddamn, at least some chips and dip, yeah. bitch. At least some goddamn Rotel, fuck you, a little jar of jelly beans. Like, <laughs> Some, and then y'all wonder why the party in the, in the goddamn shootout or in the middle of a party a nigga getting body slammed and then on top of that y'all be playing fucking finito like <laughs> niggas be playing fucking they either, the black people they either hot or they hungry <laughs> if you buck and they gonna talk about something y'all always acting so ghetto you ain't feed us <laughs> bitch it's like a wild zoo in this motherfucker bitch you, you got all these gorillas and apes in this bitch congregating no food, <laughs> and then you gonna play, you gonna play some fucking Chicago music? Yeah, bitch, I'm gonna air this Damn, no. <laughs> I'm gonna put somebody on a t-shirt tonight. She like, Damn. Off, right? I don't know where the fuck she went. I don't know if she was like in the back, getting bust down like a Swisher sweet. I don't know what the fuck she was doing, but she fucking disappeared at one point. This one bitch came up on the side of me, another dancer. She came up like kind of on the side of me. This, she just like, I don't know what this is, but I love when dancers do this shit. Y'all just be doing like this little sway. <laughs> And then y'all hit this. I know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get behind y'all. Oh, me too. Fuck you some out. Let me grab them. <laughs> she fucked around and like finally said something to me. She was like, what you in here doing? Looking at ass. Working on I'm fucking repairing a vacuum cleaner. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, like, what, what the fuck? As soon as I turned my head to basically tell her like, oh, I'm just in here chilling with so-and-so. Nigga. I hear like a fucking, bitch, it was giving very much stampede. It sound like a fucking football player was coming down a fucking stadium. This bitch, she like, bitch nigga, this nigga stallion bitch. built ass bitch. This bitch literally like fucking charges in. This bitch almost stepped on my goddamn feet. Bitch, I wear a size four. Your big ass would've just broke my goddamn foot into fucking different pieces. Bitch, you tear my goddamn ACL the way that bitch was goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> my little ass feet, that bitch. My little <laughs> bitch that. Yeah, so so who, who you in here with? What you in here doing? Oh shit, not too much. I'm get. <laughs> yeah, damn, <laughs> bitch. I looked to the side quick as fuck. Jesus, I said, damn, bitch. This goddamn great migration in this motherfucker. Literally before I could like answer the other dancer, this bitch like storms damn near about to goddamn break my feet off. This bitch came up to the other dancer. She said, "Why are you talking to her, nigga? I'm sitting there like." Can't have friends. <laughs> Can't talk to another dancer. What the fuck? Like, bitch, is this shit the bad girls club? You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna cap. I'm not into booty clubs. I don't know how the shit work. I don't know the rules and that motherfucker. I'm not into to strip clubs, so I really don't understand how they work, my nigga. Like, only strip club I'm into is goddamn P Valley, where the girls get naked. Fuck you, <laughs> I'm here for Mercedes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not too familiar with strip clubs and like. Like the vibes that y'all be having going on in there. So I ain't gonna cap, nigga. I ain't gonna cap. I thought all these hoes is in here like giving very much like sisterhood. Fuck you talking about. I thought y'all got them four lifers. Stupid ass. Like <laughs> I thought y'all were cool in the script club. I thought like all bitches love each other and woman unity and girls unite. Ugh, like, like giving very much spice girls. Spice up your life. <laughs> I ain't know them hoes ain't like each other. So like, and she was like talking to Shelly like, she was like a hoe off the street. Why are you talking to her? And the girl was looking at me and then looking at her like, I just asked her like, what she got going on? Like, what she in here doing? Or that bitch said, no, don't like, don't, don't fucking talk to her. Ain't got now. You know what Shoot I'm saying? Shoot her. Oh but this is a universal yes. disrespectful ass yes. goddamn. Don't do this mannerism around black women. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that shit. That shit pissed me <laughs> off. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but a hoe hit me with a goddamn, I'm a goddamn. her goddamn sentence the bitch was just like like what the fuck don't don't talk that's to her so like, you know what i'm saying like shoot the bitch like she was a goddamn fly like, like, so 
what she was asking you about. And I was like, she was just asking me like, what I'm in here doing? Don't talk to don't talk to these bitches in here because they don't want to do nothing but take your money. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and these hoes is entrepreneurs. What you like? Literally, like, take my money. That's what they here for. Like, they don't want to do nothing but take your money. That's that's what she in the club photo. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, fuck you, somebody. If I would have seen my square ass in there, I would try to take my money too. I'd been like, <laughs> you, you, what you in here doing? <laughs> fuck you, somebody. She just ain't had time to get down to the goddamn doing it in front of me because the bitch goddamn stormed onto the court. She fucking running down the court. I'm dumping on them Lisa Leslie and my, and my goddamn Nicki Minaj voice. She ain't had time to even set up and ask me for some money or ask me if I wanted a goddamn table dance because you goddamn came on this bitch like you goddamn Jason Voorhees and we had goddamn Crystal Lake. I ain't gonna count. Like at that point, I didn't think, I wasn't thinking like this bitch a bully. I'm thinking like... I'm just thinking like this whole rude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not I'm not thinking like, oh, she she's a fucking, she a mean girl. Like, she's trying to goddamn punk bitches. I'm just thinking like, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's a strip club. I don't know, I don't know what them vibes is. Like, I don't know what the atmosphere is like in that motherfucker. I don't work in there. I never worked in one. Fuck you, somebody. I'm not no dancer. <laughs> per personally, personally, I don't see myself as a dancer. <laughs> B bitch, we know. On them motherfuckers looking like flatjack. We know you not no <laughs> Not real shit, but like. I don't know how strip clubs get down, you know what I'm saying? But kind of like, I know it's a dog eat dog world in that motherfucker. Another instance, we, we fucked around and linked up and hung out. Somebody, I remember somebody left a comment on one of my other videos and it was just like, if you know about, if you know people be wrong or people be like bad energy or bad vibes, why do you always keep putting yourself in a situation? Like why you don't cut it off as soon as it starts happening? Bitch, because that's life. You live and you learn and you experience shit. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want me to just stay in a house cooped up and isolate myself from the fucking world and people? It don't work like that. You literally have to, in order to live, bitch, and learn, you have to experience people, places, and things. So keep some, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know, like, I'm quick to cut people off, but at the same time, I'm not because I kind of feel like people deserve chances, bitch. I give everybody the benefit of the doubt because growing up, that's all the fuck I ever wanted. Chances and benefit of the fucking doubt. So it's kind of like now that I'm a grown woman and I'm just like learning more about myself and I'm learning more about people and like energies and different types of shits. It's just kind of like, I kind of feel like you have to use your discernment. You know when yeah. people deserve more than one chance and you know when it's people that you have to literally get the fuck away from. And so it's kind of like, I be weighing out those options. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, one thing I live by, bitch, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> you people know? I stay away from is people who do not take accountability for their actions. Those are motherfuckers. I remember again, like when I was driving trucks, the um the dude who was training me, like when I saw that he was lying about some of the shit that was putting our lives in danger, I knew I had to get out of that truck because if something were to happen to me, I promise you, it's like him and his girl, they would have just took it and wouldn't even admit it to shit or anything. Yeah. I don't like people like that either. Like people it's that dangerous. don't take accountability and then people that's cuckoo. People like that do shit and you know they crazy. I really don't like being around people like that because I already, like if I pick up on you crazy and if you try to encounter me in any type of way, I already know the outcome ain't going to be good yeah. because I don't do crazy and I don't do crazy running up on me and mine. So and liars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are the ones I mm -mm, that shit dangerous. Yeah. I say that shit in every video. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I'm not saying just be like stupid and just put yourself in all different types of situations that can like literally fucking alter your life or like end your life or fuck you up to the point where you getting arrested or you fucked up bad. I'm not saying that, but at the same time, it's kind of like, have to exp you have to experience shit to live and learn, bitch. You yeah. some, if you already know this, why you keep putting yourself in a situation? Because I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm optimistic <laughs> as fuck, bitch. I feel like everything is going to work out well in my fucking favor. And that's mm -hmm. why I'm doing so good in life. Fuck you talking about. I be running into some dumb shit. <laughs> I be running into some dumb Nick said that the other day. Remember, you we was just talking, and Nick was talking about how she deal with stuff. She said, "Meanwhile, you just sitting over here like I know everything gonna work out." I be feeling like that too. I be like, "Shit, like I know it's gonna work out. I don't be stressed about nothing. Like anything that happened, it's like I have had my moments in the past, but for the most part, if anything happened, like somebody talked to me about something." 
I be like, it's gonna work out at the end of the day. <laughs> some dumb bitches, some dumb niggas, some dumb situations. But other than that, bitch, I'm doing, I'm living well, living swell. <laughs> Fuck you, come out. Well dressed and divinely blessed. Stupid yeah. ass. Now you worry about your goddamn life, bitch. Don't worry about mine. I'm just on here to tell you the story so you can learn from my goddamn mistakes. <laughs> bitch. I say y'all this all the time, but I love Atlanta Beltline. I love Atlanta Beltline. If you live in Atlanta, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's this place on Atlanta Beltline. If you've never been there, I suggest you go there. It's called Hawkers Asian Street Fair. We at Hawkers. Me and there chilling. Hawkers is set up so fucking cute. Bitch, they got all types of like, I don't, I don't know what fucking language it is. I just know it's Asian. It's like some fucking symbols and shit on the walls, like Asian writings and fucking hieroglyphics and fucking letters and whatever the fuck. <laughs> Goddamn, I don't know, Wendy Wu homecoming, <laughs> Wendy Wu homecoming warriors, all types of shit like that in there. And then they got the bar front. And then you walk around, you can go outside, eat on their patio. It's fucking cute as shit. It's such a vibe in that motherfucker. They be playing like fucking polka dot music. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck polka... I don't even know what polka dot music could even mean or what it is. I just made it up. But literally the music in Hawkers, it just made me think about polka dots. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I love polka dots. I think it's such a cute print, such a cute pattern. Bitch, they be in there playing polka dot music. It be like... And the man around the corner, he was dancing in the mirror. Fuck you, fuck. <laughs> Bitch, I need to wear polka dot vibes. You know what I'm saying? So we can see that our waitress is coming towards our table, but it's kind of like she was dropping drinks off at somebody else before she even got to us. My nigga, the drinks did not make it to their table. It wasn't like no big ass, extra ass spill. It literally was just, she just dropped the water. So she walking, boom, shot to hit a chair. She literally, like the water fell, but... The cups was so big and filled with so much water and ice that when it fell, the water and the ice, it literally was just like a fucking speckle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like no big ass splash. Like, I wasn't wet up. Fuck you talking about wet up your white tea. Look at that. It was nothing like that. Like, it literally was just like speckles. Like, it felt like, you know, like when the rain just start and it's like real light and it feel like it make you just want to go outside and be light skin and dance <laughs> in the rain and do it for a little saint you know what i'm saying like it was like literally just a little speckle that fucking ice and that water hit us this bitch stand up loud as fuck damn <laughs> i sitting at the table like oh my god bro what the fuck like it caught me off guard like everybody in the restaurant turned and started looking she stand up damn <laughs> bitch how long you been working here? You can't walk with fucking water. Uh, I got up. I started grabbing on that bitch. I'm like pulling her the whole not moving. I'm talking about the bitch was a solid fucking boulder, giving very much the rock Dwayne Johnson. Fuck you to my like. <laughs> I'm like, bro, just just come on, bro. Like now, now you starting to embarrass me. You doing yes. too much. You know what I'm so like, I'm pulling on her. I'm trying to like just push her out of the fucking restaurant because like. It don't take all that. You know what I'm saying? And like that shit irritates. I don't like extra at I don't like I don't like extra people. Bitch, you are extra people. Fuck <laughs> yeah. I'm literally extra as fuck. But like I just kind of feel like you gotta have some some sort of goddamn what that girl on TikTok said, have some decorum. Fuck you. <laughs> have some decorum about yourself. Like it don't take all that, you know what I'm saying? Like and you at, it what really pissed me off. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, because I'm gonna get pissed off again. What really pissed me off was the fact that it was just ice and water. You know what I'm saying? You act like you got stained with like a fucking red slush. It's crazy because this is making me think about Carla. Um, she just mentioned like, she don't like, you don't like being embarrassed in that way. Like, you just you said your previous person you was talking to you every time, or not every time, but y'all would go to a restaurant sometimes. They would be loud. Pop and off. Pop off. I don't like to be embarrassed in public. And when she was, when Taco was just talking about this, I actually had a situation like this. Um, it was me and my coworkers, we were out, and the server, she came with our drinks, except for these was alcoholic beverages. And the same thing happened with her. It was kind of like the glasses was on the, on the tray, and one bumped one, and it was like a domino effect. Y'all, when I tell y'all that shit, it went down my shoulder and just, I was just like, and she was like, I'm so sorry. I was just like, I was like, I'm ready to go home. Because who wants to sit there with sticky shit on them? 
And then the people who I was with. You should have got a free meal. Look, the I can't even remember what happened. All I know, the people that I was with, they was like, Carla, don't leave. You know, it's like. Why wouldn't you leave? Well, see, the thing is, you know, when you a vibe, you a vibe. You know, when you around people. It's the same way like how my daughter is. It's like sometimes people just want her to be in the atmosphere because it's like you're a vibe. So people like that. Sometimes people feed off of your energy when you have good energy. And they didn't want me to leave because I think then it kind of, it would have made things different. The dynamic wouldn't have been the same. So I actually, I tried to get myself together and I was like, you know something, I'm going to stay for a little bit because we had just got there. Our food had not even came yet. And, it, um, you know, all was well. I think they did end up doing something for free. But I still didn't act like that. Like, I could have been like, are you fucking kidding me? Bitch, go get your motherfucking manager. But it's like, sometimes you don't have to do that. It's embarrassing. The person already feel bad. For doing it they already feel bad that was not their intention and then for you to bring more attention it's just kind of like just put me in a little bubble and just roll me out the door <laughs> but yeah but the whole table meal definitely would have had to been free though yeah i would have showed up to get that whole meal the whole table. yeah meal. i can't remember what happened but i know that they did do something to compensate yeah for what happened but Water, if it would have been water, I'd have been like, shit, girl, just give me a little napkin. i would dry this shit up real quick. Or like the bitch spilled like something sticky on a like Coca-Cola or that yeah. spray, or like a fucking alcoholic beverage and the smell gonna be on you all day. Yeah. It literally was just ice and water. So huh, the bitch stand up, damn! <laughs> <laughs> my arms up fucking doing very much this you know them fucking flaily things that be outside of fucking car washes and fucking car lots and it'd be like <laughs> that's how she that's how. It's like a goddamn curse the cowardly dog monster i start grabbing her i'm pulling her out the door i'm like bro come on bro just come on like i don't even want to eat no more i don't even want no more drinks yeah. like you just ruined my fucking polka dot experience fuck you to me i'm pulling her i'm grabbing her we get outside the restaurant she still just going. She doing the most. Yeah, you know saying like she going off doing the most. She got damn loud as fuck. She digging all of her purse trying to find her phone. I'm trying to tell her like you need to calm the fuck down because you know what I'm saying I, I don't know if y'all ever been on the belt line or for the people that have been on the belt line. It'd be a lot of white people out there. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? For all my skin folk, kin folk, it'd be a lot of white people out there. And 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 what I'm saying is. I, I don't give a fuck about being embarrassed in front of white people. It, it ain't, you feel me? I don't give a fuck about y'all. Nigga, fuck you to my like. I don't give a fuck about being embarrassed in front of white people. It's the fact that they don't know how to mind their goddamn business. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like they always inserting themselves somewhere. Like yeah, like either Jesus... that or calling the cops or some shit like that. Yeah. that that is annoying. Yeah, uh, he left they fucking ass in charge or something. Mind y'all goddamn business. This is why y'all be getting beat the fuck up. Mind y'all business. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't give a fuck about the fact that like she acting like this and there's white people around. I give a fuck that you acting like this and it's white people around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's two totally different things. Yeah. I don't give a fuck that you're acting like this and there's white people around. I give a fuck that you acting like this and it's white people around. Like they do too fucking much. They yeah. don't have to mind their goddamn business. And all it takes is for one of them to be like, you're doing a lot of vulgar talking. You're cursing so much. I have my children out here. You need to calm down. Emily, Elizabeth, I don't give a fuck about you or Connor or Marianne. I will wipe all three of y'all fucking nose. Mind y'all business. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know that's how they be. <laughs> y'all know. Y'all fucking know they always feel like they got to insert themselves in somebody else's fucking drama. Mind your fucking business. That's a problem now. That's why we own this motherfucker. <laughs> that's why we out here in America. Because they don't know how to mind it. <laughs> they don't know how to mind it. They, they, they ain't never mind their business as soon, as soon as they was created. They never mind they got <laughs> they never mind they fucking business. They always somewhere else in somebody else's country doing some weird shit. Always putting they fucking two unseasoned ass scents in. Shut up <laughs> and leave people the fuck alone. So I'm telling Shotty like you need to calm the fuck down. Like you you doing too much. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you all it takes is for one fucking mayo mustard cricket to say something to me and I'm gonna go the fuck off. Don't talk to me. Yeah, you know, don't don't talk to me. Real yeah. shit, don't talk to me. <laughs> Don't don't talk to me. Don't talk. I was about to say, not even to be racist. I can't be racist. I'm black. It don't it don't work in my favor. You know what I'm saying? And I don't give a fuck how you feel about that. Bitch, go argue with your mama because I said what I said. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I, I 
I genuinely don't don't talk to me, bro, because it's like they 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 don't know how to talk to people. They be talking to people like like we all beneath them, and they just like like they just ahead, they ahead and in charge of everybody. I'm gonna tell you right now, bitch. One thing about me, two things for sure. It's a lot of different ancestors living through me, bitch. And, and you gonna say the wrong thing to me, or you gonna say the right thing to me, and you gonna conjure up the most ignorant, wildest one. And I'm gonna let that motherfucker do whatever they please. You hear me? I, I don't give a fuck. Y'all know what I'm in the beginning of this video when I told y'all it's people out here who don't give a fuck. I'm one of them people, bitch. I will fuck you. <laughs> it's people out here who who will kill you and then kill themselves to avoid the consequences. Leave me the fuck up. <laughs> I'm I'm telling you, I be waiting on a day for a motherfucking Karen. <laughs> I'm go super saying, leave me alone, right? You know what I'm saying? So we outside the restaurant now. I'm trying to grab her, I'm trying to pull her, I'm trying to calm her down. She digging all in her purse. That bitch like she got damn cooking. Like she little bee. She digging all in her fucking purse. I'm just trying to tell her like, come over here and dig in your purse. Like calm the fuck down and dig in your purse. Cause like, not only are you loud as fuck, and we both black women. Now you digging in your purse. You know, you, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. They be crazy. They be crazy. And they be doing the fucking most. And they will turn literally no situation into a situation. So I'm trying to grab her. I'm trying to pull on her. I'm like, man, bitch, you doing too much. This bitch finally get her phone out her goddamn purse. This bitch get to FaceTiming people. I started walking ahead of the bitch. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm, I'm not doing this shit right now. She get on FaceTime with one of her fucking just ignorant ass friends. Bitch. Me and Taco in the motherfucking restaurant. <laughs> oh, 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 bitch, goddamn. 4K tray on oh, God, nigga. Free D dog. Fuck you, come out. Hey, 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 bitch, you one of them. <laughs> I'm like, this bitch was giving very much NBA young boy. I'm like, you doing too much. Like, bitch, you, you, it, it's not that serious. Bitch, I'm in the motherfucking restaurant with Taco. This little bitch, she carrying a tray. This bitch, this bitch dropped the tray, spilled the drinks all over us. I'm literally like I'm ahead of the bitch, but I still hear her conversation on FaceTime. Nigga, I hear her friend hyping it up even fucking more. Let me pause the story time right there. If you got people like this in your circle, get rid of them. Fuck you talking about abort. Yeah. Abort the mission, bitch. Get rid of them. Remove them. We need that going by tonight. Fuck you to my get rid of them. Cause people like that, they're not gonna do shit for you, but lead you down the wrong fucking path. Mm -hmm. If you, you got somebody like that in your circle of friends right now, comment below. You gonna either end up in the fucking jail cell or grave. Yeah. Get rid of them goddamn people. You know what I'm saying? Like people like that do not have the best interests at heart for you. They don't give a fuck about you. People who always on go, I don't, I don't hang around people like that. I don't like shit like that. Yeah. What make it worse? The the bitch was like 35. You're, you know what I'm saying? You damn near 80. <laughs> you damn near 80, and you always just like ready to fucking rumble like this goddamn street fighter three. You doing too much. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that. The fact that you a grown ass woman and you just called another bitch because somebody accidentally spilled water. And, and what, piss, what pisses me off is <laughs> getting so mad. <laughs> I'm reliving. <laughs> Nigga, what pisses me off is that when I tell y'all this little white girl, literally, the water. Nigga, all right, let, let me give y'all a replay. I gotta give y'all a replay of how the shit went down in the restaurant. <laughs> We in hawkers, bitch. Uh, got the polka dot music. I was dancing in the mirror and my mom came upstairs. You know what I'm saying? Good little polka dot vibes, cute ass music. I'm sitting there, I'm happy as fuck. The white girl got the tray. She got the tray of two fucking waters. You know what I'm saying? She walking, fuck around, uh, hit the chair. When she hit the chair, her chair got damn moved. Chair was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, one, one thing about like embarrassing situations, it be so it be so many different noises. It just, I don't know. It should be sound like a goddamn car accident in the middle of fucking New Orleans. It should be sounding like horns, <laughs> horns and drums. And it should be sound like jazz music. <laughs> it sound like a car accident with jazz music. Nigga, so she walking, she got the tray. Uh, she hit the chair, the chair move a little bit. It was like, Brr. so when she hit the chair, it kind of make her trip up. Uh, drop the tray, drinks hit the ground, cups hit the ground. Like, you know what I'm like, that's the ice and shit flying. Like, ice, cups, the fucking platter was like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> so when all that happened, I li it's like it was playing in slow motion. I literally watched all this happen. So when all of it happened, one thing about me, I'ma say damn. So when <laughs> when it all happened, I was looking, I was like, damn. Like, <laughs> like that, that fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So bow. I was like, damn, bruh. Literally, as soon as we felt the ice in the water like missed us, 
You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling y'all, nothing really hit us. As soon as we felt the ice in the water, like, mist onto us, this big booty ass bitch, I'm talking <laughs> about her ass back the chair out. Good gracious ass is bodacious. <laughs> the ass, the ass back the chair out when she stood up. So, uh, let me, let me, all right, here it go without me fucking stopping. So, white girl coming. Poke it out music. So, white girl walking. She hit the chair. She was like, Sprang. she tripped up a little bit, stumbled, uh, dropped the tray. <laughs> I was like, damn, big ass, big booty bitch. She stood up, back the chair, <laughs> stood up, back the chair. I am saying all of that. Let me do it for this way so y'all can see. So she's sitting down, right? She's sitting down, like this. <laughs> stood up. <laughs> damn! <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta do it one more time. This is the white girl carrying Trey. I'm the white girl. This is Trey. Uh, tripped up, uh, hit your skirt. Damn. Damn! <laughs> bitch, how long you been? <laughs> Nigga, we outside. She on FaceTime. You know how that little bitch, little bitch dropped the tray. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm talking about how long you been working there, bitch. You can't balance two drinks on one tray. And the bitch on the phone, uh-uh, where Taco at? Where Taco at? Because you know if I was there with you, bitch, you know if I was there with you, I would whoop that hoe ass. That's y'all fucking problem now. Every single week, you wonder why your ass don't dance. <laughs> That's y'all problem now. Y'all always feel like y'all gotta be on fucking go about something. Like, bitch, you was not walk a flocker. You was not trained to go. Ugly like, girl. Like, sometimes you really just gotta like, you gotta know when to like let let go and let God. <laughs> Ain't that what y'all be saying? Let go and let God. Everything does not deserve a fucking reaction. Some shit do not be that goddamn serious. Even if it is that serious, it don't it don't deserve a reaction. Like you feed an energy into it more, it's gonna keep getting bigger and bigger than what the fuck it should have been in the yeah. first place. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that situation played out the way it played out, and it kind of just rubbed me the wrong way, and it really turned me off from Shawty. I need no cap. And like I said in the beginning, it's some people that you know, like you have to cut them off right then and there, and it's some people like you just have to give them the benefit of the doubt because, like, you know, we're we're human. Nobody on this earth is the same as the next person, so everybody reacts differently. Everybody was raised differently. Everybody has different personalities and different types of just patience and and attitudes and you get what I'm saying? Like we're all different from one another. So like one thing about me is like, who am I to cut my off just because they have a bad attitude? I got a bad attitude too, but I understand that it's people out here who maybe cannot control their shit as well as I can control my shit. And I'm telling you right now, I cannot control my shit. So, so you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, I ain't gonna cap. Shawty turned me off for real. Not turn me off in a sexual way because like I said, we wasn't dating or we wasn't planning on talking or doing nothing like that. We honestly was just hanging out. She turned me off in the sense of, I don't want to be around you no more because if you gonna keep reacting to everything like this, you gonna fuck around and pop off on the wrong person and they gonna pop your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna cap. Once we went our separate ways and I got back to my shit, I stopped hitting Shawty up. Like I, I, I probably didn't talk to her for like good three days and like, in between them three days, she was texting, she was calling, she was like FaceTiming, texting me like, hey, you wanna go here? Hey, are you okay? Hey, where you at? What did I do? You posting on Instagram, you posting on Twitter, but you not, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, this my phone. <laughs> I hate people like that. If you one of them people, don't do not do that shit. Y'all y'all be posting all on Instagram, but y'all don't be texting people back. Do you pay this fucking phone bill? Fuck you, turn out. I text that what I want to, great. Finally, one day. I fucked around and I finally said something to her because she sent me a flyer on Instagram. So she sent me this flyer and it was basically to a club club. Not like a shake a booty club, not a strip club. It was a club, like an actual, like you can go in there and dance, they playing music type shit, like a club. She sent me this flyer. I'm gonna be performing here. And I don't know if you like not my friend no more or nothing, but like I would like for you to come and support me type shit. So when she sent me that flyer and I seen it, it kind of made me feel bad because it's like, it's not that I'm not your friend no more. It's just like, I, I need time to recharge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when I've been around somebody too goddamn long or I've been out too much or doing too much, I be needing time to recharge. I can't just keep, you know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them goddamn party girls be in a club every goddamn day. <laughs> she sent me the flyer. And when I read it, it kind of made me feel bad. So I was like, at least say something to the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. what she gonna do, beat me up? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So I fucked around. I FaceTimed her, and she was like, "I don't, I don't know. Like, you just where you been at? Like, you been like ducking and dodging me for like three days now." And I was just like, "I'm not even ducking and dodging you. I just need some time alone. Like, 
I told her straight up, I wasn't sugarcoating shit. I said, you you are like a very extreme. <laughs> yeah, you got to choose my words wisely so she don't fuck around and come through the phone and got to <laughs> pick me up by my shirt and bitch, <laughs> get over here. <laughs> you you just a very extreme person. And I ain't gonna cap, like, I just kind of feel like, I, I feel like, like, I don't want to call you a bully. And literally as soon as I said bully, the bitch started laughing. She was like, I'm a grown ass woman. You think I'm a bully? quiet <laughs> because like is that a trick question <laughs> i'm gonna fuck around and say yes this bitch gonna be climbing through my damn window <laughs> climbing through my you window you know and one thing i wonder too um because taco she seems very observant um like my wife is mm -hmm. and it's kind of like how she was able to tell the story and give you the sound effects and just really talk about small details that a lot of people may overlook and i wonder because she's so observant, if she's the same with my wife, where she can call things out about you, that may throw you into having to do shadow work, and or it can hurt, or make you become defensive when they share something that they've observed about you. Yeah, I can see that. I think um, that and, I think it will help when you're in situations like that, Instead of avoiding them, because it sounded like she just avoided it until she was cornered. And then she had to speak up. I think, uh, and a lot of people, they, um, what is it called? Um, like when people try to, it's like avoiding conflict type thing. Yeah. So um, some people don't do well with conflict, and that's understandable. But the only way that you can get better at it is to address it. Especially if it has something to do with you right so because taco was backed up that's why she had to speak up and it's like the older you get you watch your words i probably wouldn't have told her she was a bully i just would have told her like the scene you cause that's embarrassing and i don't like being in situations like that and i just would have explained to her like when we was at the club i didn't like that and when we went out i didn't like that and she can try to say whatever Again, it's about me and how you're making me feel. And if I'm telling you you're making me uncomfortable and I don't like being in situations like that, that's why I don't want to be around you. And then another thing is, is that you're refusing to hear what I'm saying. So that lets me know that I'm making the right decision. Yeah, and another thing is if she would have said it like that, she then you wouldn't have given her too much ammo of, with something to run with like, a bully like you know if you would have just said oh you're a bully oh i can take that word and i can run with it yeah, like i'm grown so you can't call ways. me a bully but if you be like all the shit you did give them the examples i don't like that then yeah. it's like they don't have a lot of ammo to run with yeah but it's okay so somebody asked in um discord the other day about shadow work and i explained that um they was like how many people have done shadow work and would you say that it has helped? So I told them I have done shadow work and the way that I started is based off of what people was telling me. People that didn't mean me any harm. So if I knew it was people who, it's like they wanted to see me grow, then even though it hurt in that moment when they told me, I could have fought up and been like, what you mean I'm acting like a bitch? What you mean I'm not approachable? I could have fought up but I took a step back and was like, okay, I know sometimes people have told me this in the past. What is it that I can do to improve it? So that's what I started doing. So it's like situations like this, even if somebody don't have the right words, because the only way we can get the words is to go through life and experience things like Taco said before. Now, when Taco get older, because she's encountering these different things, she's going to learn how to use her words in a certain way so that it won't come off offensive. But that's life, you know? So it's like eventually she'll learn what words not to use or how to make it sound better for somebody to accept it. Yeah. Oh, how the fuck did you get here? <laughs> like, <laughs> climbing through the window. I'm a bully bitch. <laughs> you know how to, I'm a bully bitch. <laughs> I'm like, is this a trick question? What the fuck? I'm a grown ass woman. You think I'm a bully? Like, I was like, the way you react to situations and people, you kind of make people feel like they under you. So I was like, yeah, like a bully a little bit. She's talking about something. I'm grown as hell. 
I don't have to bully no bitch because bitches already fear me. They already envious of me. Damn. And I'm sitting on the phone. <laughs> I'm sitting on the phone looking like, you're a loser. Like, <laughs> you're, 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 you're lame as hell. Like, what, bitches already fear me. They're already envious of me. Man, if you don't get your goddamn. Shut up, Meg. Fuck you talking about, and my family got boys. I want to, shut up, Meg. What? You're lame as shit. <laughs> You're a fucking loser, bro. What the fuck? I'm like, man, ho, you damn near 75 years old. Talk about bitches already fear me. They're already envious of me. Okay, Thanos. Like, what the, what the fuck what the hell are you talking about, bitch? You think you kill monger? Shut your ass up. And when she said that shit, I was just like, like that, that right there, like, why would you want somebody to, you know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck want to go out and feel like people fear them? That's not a good fucking feeling. Yeah. Like, imagine me going out and people fear me. When people see me, the first thing they that come over them is fear. That ain't no good feeling, bitch. Why you want to live life like that? Like, look at me. I'm a, I'm a cutie fucking patootie. <laughs> I'm cute as shit, bitch. It ain't shit to be scared of, you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine me stepping out and the first thing that come over people is fear. Why would you want to live life like that? Like, mm -hmm. crazy man, you would not get no pussy like <laughs> You would not get no play like that, crazy. You would not push and pee like that, crazy. Like, I told her straight up. I was like, I, I just felt like it was, it's like too much. I was like, I'm not no, I'm not into like no shit like that. I don't want to hang around somebody where like every time I'm hanging around them, I gotta be I gotta be cautious or I gotta feel like I'm always like ready to break some shit up, handle some shit because yeah. like, you don't know how to fucking control your goddamn, bitch, you're 87 years old. <laughs> you old enough to be my mama, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like I always gotta be on go, ready to break some shit up or jump into some shit because you don't know how to fucking talk to people or act in like, I sent you. I was just like hoping you pop out type shit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I popped out. <laughs> whoop, 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 I popped out. And like I said, it's just because like, it's some people you got to know when to cut them off and and like it's some people where you just know to give them another chance and like I, I honestly deeply I feel like she wasn't she's not she's not a bad person you know what I'm saying the motherfucker is beautiful till this day we still follow each other the motherfucker is beautiful she's amazing at her fucking craft and her fucking work she got a beautiful ass body she cool when she's calm she's actually cool as fuck you know what I'm saying like it's some people you can tell that they just be demonic and just fucking evil she was just more so like she just had a really bad fucking temper and it started getting to the point where i was just like i can't keep hanging around this bitch because <laughs> she gonna get me in some shit uh like i said it's a club club so it's like an lgbt event so it's like it's like hella bitches it's hella lesbians hella dyke studs fam stems it was like trans people and they're drag queens and shit. Like it was like a LGBT event, you know what I'm saying? It was in a club. You basically can come in this club and showcase your skills. You can come in there, you can dance, you can rap, you can sing. Whatever you do, you can come and showcase that. And then in a, in between the sets or in, in between the performances, they just play music. We turn, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a club. It's just also people performing type shit. I get to the list shit. As soon as I walk in, uh, I'm texting her. I'm like, hey, I'm here. Where you at? No response. So I'm like, okay. I had maybe been in there for like 10 minutes. I started getting drinks and shit because it's just kind of like, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna invite me somewhere and then you go fucking missing? But like, I, I didn't start like doing too much. I wasn't hitting her up too much just because like she was in there to dance. You know what I'm saying? She could have been in the back getting ready or getting prepared type shit. She could have been in the back giving a goddamn private dance. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in there for like good 10 minutes. I started getting drinks and shit. Some more time passed. I'm still hitting her up. I'm, I'm texting her. I'm calling her. I'm, I'm like, hey, I'm over here by the bar. Hey, now I'm over here by the hookah area. Hey, I found this little area. I'm just going to sit down right here. Bitches have been 30 minutes now. You know what I'm saying? Some bi bitches done perform. Bitches done got out there, rap, dance, sing. <laughs> fucking drag queens and got out there. Pow! <laughs> yeah. You know they be doing a goddamn spin. <laughs> and they be doing a death. <laughs> Bitch, I was just told my goddamn ACL. Nah, Rich, I wanna learn that shit. They be like, I don't know what the fuck they be talking about. That shit be, I be like, oh shit. And they be doing a goddamn. They be spinning, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting dizzy, bitch. They be spinning, and they just be like, the <laughs> death drop. The death drop, whatever that shit called. I wanna learn that shit. Motherfuckers, I'm performing, bitch. It's probably been like 30 minutes now. Shawty's still not hitting me up. She's not responding to my text. She's not responding to my goddamn. I called her even like, you know how desperate and dumb you gotta, <laughs> you know how desperate and dumb you gotta be to call somebody in a club. You can't hear shit. I yeah. called her, I texted her. I went on Instagram. I'm watching her story to see if she posting maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like the bitch nowhere to be found. The only shit on her story was from earlier in the day when she was getting ready type shit. She done reposted a flyer, that's it. So I'm in there, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like maybe she just gonna 
come to me once her performance is over and then she gonna come to me type shit. So uh, I done sat down and had goddamn seven drinks by now. Bitches feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Fuck you so much. <laughs> One thing about me, I watch my goddamn surroundings. I don't play that shit. You you not gonna sneak me, bitch. I damn I'm turned up, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, some time done passed. I done been in there for a good little minute now. Time done passed. I'm in there, uh, turned up. I see one cop, you know <laughs> I see one cop, you know what I'm saying? That nigga storming in type shit. And he walked straight to like the back, like the back area of the club where like the bathrooms and like the, the fucking employee area at. He walked straight back there. One cop, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, one cop, he walks to the back. I'm just still like, mm, 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 hey, 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 mm, mm, fuck you talking about? Uh, hit one of these, I said, I learned this dance and I was in the strip club. <laughs> fuck you talking about, I hit that shit, I ain't care. Fuck you talking about, bitch, I'm bad at fuck. Hey, hit that shit one time, you feel me? Two more cops come in. Oh, it's I'm in the middle of my dance, I said, you know what I'm saying? I don't like police. Crazy. I don't fuck with yeah. police. Y'all can't mess with the police. <laughs> Two more cops come in behind that one cop. The one cop that went in the first time, he never came back out. You know what I'm saying? And it had to be like five minutes in between him first going in. So he went in. You know what I'm saying? Five minutes passed. Two more cops come in behind that cop. I'm at the bar again. <laughs> Bitch became an alcoholic that night. I'm at the bar again. I got my back to like the area that the cops walked into. So I'm at the bar. I'm like, yeah, let me get a motherfucking blue motherfucker. Yeah, let me get, yeah. And yeah I, I get a scroll. Yeah. You can put two lemons in there too. Nigga, all I hear is, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You know, niggas be on the mic. When black people on the mic, you don't know what the fuck we be saying. Because it is just like back up from the mic, nigga. Then we could hear you a little. <laughs> Bottom like the March Madness, a uh, cop shooting nigga tried. <laughs> so much noise, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like bitches screaming, dykes screaming, <laughs> bitches screaming, dykes screaming, they them. Fuck you to my non-binary, <laughs> non-binary motherfuckers in there screaming, fucking music playing. Goddamn, Cause I'm your dirty dancer, dancing for money. <laughs> nigga on the mic. <laughs> I need y'all to back up right now. Cause I'm your dirty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whole bunch of noise, nigga. I'm at the bar. Um, and actually, let me get two blue motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck you some my bitch worry about her drink. Nigga, all that emotion, commotion, run deep as oceans exploding. And my Eminem voice, <laughs> bitch, all that commotion made me finally turn around. They got her, nigga. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. Fuck you some my. They got her, nigga. They got the dancer. Yeah, they got the dancer, bitch. I've been kicking it with. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, what? they carrying this bitch out like a child throwing a temper tantrum in the middle of Target. Fuck you, Tamat, because we don't play them games in Target, bitch. It's, it's real bougie in this motherfucker. Take that shit to Walmart. They carrying this whole out. The first cop that went in, he got her by like under here. You know what I'm saying? Like he had his arms up under the bitch armpits. Nigga, one cop got one leg, the other cop got the other leg. When I tell y'all this hoe was so fucking big and strong and just brolic. Nigga, it took three grown men cops to carry out one woman. Do you know Damn. how? Nigga, <laughs> nigga, I was fearing for my life. I'm standing there like, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I came late. Fuck you talking about. Nigga, they're carrying bitch out. This bitch, fucking muffin cap, peeled back blue. I don't even know what the fuck that mean, but it was like that. <laughs> it was giving very much muffin cap. <laughs> Fuck you tonight. This shit swollen. This shit leaking. This shit bust. Shit over here. And fucking snail scratches. Like she goddamn scarred from, from fucking Lion King. This shit right here giving very much goddamn seal. Fuck you tonight. She <laughs> big ass scratches, scars. I'm like, them niggas turn into Wolverine. <laughs> they carrying this bitch out. She's screaming. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you tonight. Bitch going off, nigga. They're literally carrying this bitch out the fucking club. Oh, they get the bitch outside. They got this bitch up against a cop car. They got like fucking four other bitches like near another cop car. It's a stud on this side near another cop car. She pointing. She got them doing all this, doing all this. I said, damn, this is tell it all. Yo, tattle tell. Like, nigga, you get what I'm saying? Just by observing the situation, I could tell. You know what I'm saying? I could tell you a snitch, crazy man. I can tell you a tell it all. Like, like, <laughs> she over there pointing, the cop writing shit in the notebook. I'm like, man, this whole snitching. The bitch I be kicking it with, she all up against the cop car. I don't give a fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I said, oh, shit. They got four holes over here. I ain't know who them holes are. I don't know. They was like performance. 
people or they was scribblers. I don't know who the fuck them bitches was fucking the totally spies. I don't know who they was, but you know what I'm mean? saying? Yelling her name. And I'm like, hey, hey. I'm like, relax, <laughs> relax. You know what I'm mean? saying? Because nigga, you fuck around and pull that goddamn gun out. Bitch, now we all on Fox 5. Fuck you, tell me. So, like, they're pushing her in the car. She talking about some taco, taco. <laughs> These bitches jump me. These bitches jump me. I said, oh, <laughs> you bitch gonna transform. But you tell me, I'm looking around. I'm like, oh my. That's why I say, like, why she talking about people scared of me, blah, blah, blah. People not scared of you. It's like they just try to avoid you. But they already know if I have a conflict with you, I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah. Because you already act like you ain't rap type. That's like I said, I don't do crazy. Coming around me acting crazy, you going to get fucked up. Yep. They either try to fuck you up when they best yes. move or they conspire against you. Yes. And, and jump th- your ass. Exactly. Hey, <laughs> right. it's ghetto. Bitch, I paid $10 to get this goddamn club. You think I get that $10? <laughs> Fuck you, some out. They throwing this hoe in the back of the cop car. Bitch, I paid $10. <laughs> I paid $10 to come see you perform. She talking about some, go on my Instagram. Go on my Instagram. Get in contact with Tia. Tell Tia, come pick me up from Fulton County Jail. Tell Tia. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. I'm standing there like, hoe, you going to Fulton County? Ain't nobody finna come out there crazy. Ho, them folks do not play. Crazy man 12 do not play in cra- hey, Fulton County. Fuck you talking Fulton County and sh- not Atlanta. Fuck you talking about in my own Loretta <laughs> boys. Like, you, think, you think somebody finna come to Fulton County and bail you out? Are they pushing her ass in the back of the cop car? They got the other four hoes. They got two of them in handcuffs. The other two of them on the ground fucked up. The stud over here still. Goddamn Mrs. Tell it all going off. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm standing there. They put Shawty in the back of the cop car. Pulled off with her stupid ass. I'm standing there like, let me go inside and get my $10. <laughs> I went on her Instagram. <laughs> I went on her. I did what she said. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to leave you fucked up just in, in, in the goddamn prison. What are you talking about? I went on her Instagram. I got in contact with the Tia bitch. She said, I messaged Tia. I said, yeah. I was at shot a little shindig. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? I was at her little hold down, throw down. And, uh. I don't know what happened, but the motherfucker in Fulton County. <laughs> and that was it, you know what I'm saying? I told Tia, uh, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I guess shit played out the way it played out because, like, maybe, like, it had to be, like, two days. Two days passed by. And pri- prior to this, like, the bitch wasn't posting on social media and nothing. Like, she was just missing. She fucked around. Oh, she fucked around, ar- archived all her stuff. Like, I'm talking about, like, all her pictures on her page. She archived them shits. It, it like, she just wasn't on social media. It, it was, like, two days. So, motherfucker FaceTime me, you know what I'm saying? So when I answer FaceTime, her phone is sitting up like I see her ceiling, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't see her, I'm just sitting on like a table or her bed or something. I see her ceiling. I answer the FaceTime. I'm like, bro, what's up, bro? I'm like, what the fuck you got going on? I was like, well, what was that? You know what I'm saying? Man, this whole sounded broken. You know what I'm saying? And it, it hurt me. <laughs> One thing about me, I'm feminine. I'm in tune with my emotions. That shit hurt me, bitch. I felt that shit in my gut when she started talking. I said, oh, puka. They beat that ass, didn't they? He was like, man, I'm so fucked up, bro. I'm in so much pain. Bitch, I'm listening to her talk. I felt so fucking bad. Like, I felt bad like I was one of the hoes that did it. So, I'm asking her, I'm like, what happened? Like, you good? What happened? She's talking about some, man, Taco, these bitches jumped me. Well, yeah, I know that much. I remember you yelling it outside the fucking club. Like, <laughs> you're a fucking cheerleader. <laughs> give me a J. Fuck you talking about? Give me a U-M-P-M-E. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? What that spell? Jump me. I ain't like, I'm like, I, yeah. <laughs> like, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna hold you. I was just being dumb as fuck. Like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, the whole situation was my fault. But look who knows how to take accountability, Mrs. Attitude. Mm. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> he was like, you know, I got to the club. Uh, I'm in there. I'm about to get ready to like do my little set. I was going to dance. She was like, um, my ex, which was the stud that was telling the, on the fucking, telling the police, you know what I'm saying? She was like, my ex was there. My ex was there with her new bitch and like my ex do music. So, okay, cool. She was like, as my ex was performing, 
I was real fucked up. Like I was drinking and then I was there with like another one in like my little club, my, like some, she told me she really ain't, wasn't even cool with a bitch. She said her and the bitch just like danced at her club together. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, I'm there. The little bitch from the club there with me. She was like, we both drinking. We both just being fucking extra and dumb. She was like, next thing I know, while my ex is out there like rapping and performing, she was like, we throwing ice at her. Pause. <laughs> what? Pause. Not Mrs. Bully. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> not, no, not you throwing ice I on people. Know, like, and know. Like, and water. When Shotty spilled that ice on us in, in fucking hawkers, you didn't fucking turn into the Hulk himself. I'm like, mm -hmm, tell me more. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. And my fucking <laughs> grease voice. I'm like, you throwing ice. She was like, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, me, me and a girl, we was just drunk. We was just like being childish. We was just being stupid. She was like, I'm, I'm throwing ice at her while she performing. The girl giving me cups. I'm throwing paper cups. She out there dancing. I'm throwing liquor on the ground near her shoes. Oh I don't know my y'all. But if I was a stud, I would have took that microphone and got down. <laughs> I know. I would have that fucking microphone. Bitch, don't play me like that. I was being real ignorant. I'm not even going to lie. I was letting that girl hype me up. And she was like, next thing I know, my 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 ex her performance starting to come to an end so i went in the back i went to the bathroom to go change into my outfit that, I, that she was gonna dance in basically she was like i get in the bathroom and the girl that was with me the girl that worked at the club with me she was like she had my out she had my outfit in my bag like she was carrying my bag that all my stuff like i had my outfit i had my shoes in there i had my lotions my body butters all that shit she was like i went in the bathroom to get ready bro four holes came in right behind them I don't know about y'all, but that shit sound like a setup to me. Uh -huh. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh -huh. That shit sound evil. Fuck you talking about. Nigga, that shit was giving very much doofus schmerz evil incorporated. <laughs> that shit sound evil as hell, bitch. This shit giving very much Damien from the Omen. Fuck you talking about. This shit sound like it had the mark of the beast on that motherfucker. She said, we get in the bathroom. I'm getting ready to change. Next thing you know, four holes come in behind me. And she was like, I, I'm so fucked up. I can't even honestly tell you where the bitch went. Like the bitch who was with her. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting fucking worried, bitch. <laughs> the bitch who was with her, she said she don't know where this bitch went. That bitch had her bag, you know what I'm saying? She said next thing she know, I'm in the bathroom. I'm so fucked up. I just realized like it's four holes in there with me. The bitch that I was hanging out with, she not in there no more. But one of the holes got my bag. Like she was like the whole <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying? Don't this shit sound like a setup? It sounds like a setup. Like it sound like I don't fucking know. I don't know. So maybe like I don't know if the little bitch got scared and she kind of just like left out when she seen all them hoes, or if the bitch also was just fucked up to the point where she didn't even realize. You know what I'm saying? But then it's kind of like, how did them hoes get your bag? Like, did they walk in behind the little bitch and the bitch already knew what they was gonna do, so she gave them your shit being funny, you or think? was the bitch honestly just that fucked up that she thought that you was one of them hoes, so she gave them the bag and then left out? You know what I'm saying? But nah. I'm I don't, care. I don't kick shit like that crazy. I might have been in a lot of crazy situations. All right, I know it. Smell up when I smell it. Fuck you talking about. So I'm like, this shit sound evil. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. I'm in the bathroom. Next thing I know, the four hoes come in. I get to turn around. The little bitch who work at the club with me, she fucking gone. She said, these hoes got my bag. And one thing about me, you not finna bitch me. You not finna punk me. That's your fucking problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's your fucking problem. Like I said, I'm not telling, I'm not saying like be a bitch unless my walk all over you, but like, four fuck nigga I, I said this people don't give a fuck the fact the fact that it took four bitches to come in there and punk you like that they don't give a fuck yeah. anybody who jumps people don't give a fuck <laughs> you know how evil you gotta be to jump somebody you can fuck somebody up bad My, even just a one-on-one -on -one, you can fuck somebody up but the fact that you got four bitches on one hoe they yeah. all four of them could kill her. They they and they all especially fight. if one lose control. You ever seen one person lose control and they get you in the right way? Let's say you slip and fall and they land on top of your ass and they got your head and they bash them up to the ground. You could die. I did that before. Right. So that's, that's like I blacked out. Blacked and out. And when I had the person head, I was just slamming it on the concrete. You I was, them. Yeah, I could. Have so them. imagine getting four, and they get you in a vulnerable position. Yeah. That's See, dangerous. I was wondering if the girl that worked with her, like, what if the girls approached her and was like, "Look, bitch, this ain't got nothing to do with you, but we finna whoop this whole ass." Like, 
What if she was just like? And you see how she was you know? there. She was there to stir up some shit and get her all into some stuff. But when it was time for her to have her back, she probably wouldn't be the one to type to have her back. Yeah, because she wasn't her. That but type the of thing friend. is, it's like the girl attitude so nasty. How could you be friends with her? Right. You see what I'm saying? I yeah. wouldn't have been her friend either. That's why it's just best to just learn how to check your ego. Yeah. Because that shit will get you in a lot of fucked up get shit. You fucked really, up. it's like her world is just matching who she is. Yeah. As above, so below. Yep. In the bathroom. <laughs> you know how nasty, nasty is it? It's pee pee on the floor because bitches ain't got no bathroom etiquette. A lot of y'all hoes, no. y'all hoes be pissing and missing. Fuck you, tell me, just like these niggas. Pee pee all on the floor, it's toilet tissue on the floor. Bitches be in there Ugh. drunk, spilling alcohol. And, Bitches and be coming period, in there from blood. outside. Ain't no telling what's outside. Then they tracking it in. The, yes. You fighting in the bathroom? Not even if is it just dirty. You could have hit your head on the sink. One of them hoes could have fucking dragged you into the toilet area. Put your head and yeah. put your head in the toilet, start flushing it. Now you getting a swirly and you getting your ass beat. I turn around, it's four hoes. One of the hoes got my bag. You're not gonna bitch me, you're not gonna pump me. So I started reaching for my bag. As I'm reaching for my bag, these hoes is pushing me back. See now, bitch, now I gotta do I gotta do the most because you putting your hands on me. This hoe said, all I know is that I swung on one of them hoes, and next thing I know, we in there fighting. I'm on FaceTime just listening to this shit, and I'm like, this, this, this is just over the top. It didn't even take all this. She basically explained. Hold on, and that's, and that's another thing what Taco was talking about, being around somebody like that. Imagine if this was a different scenario and Taco was in the location, like, in the room with the girl. Mm -hmm. Like, what would Taco have done? You know what I'm saying? She probably would have been like abracadabra like the other girl. <laughs> Would she? I don't know. She didn't know her like that. I know, but the thing is, you still because in the, the thing room. is, it's like you in the room with the person, but you also know this person got a bad attitude, right? So, so what you just gonna be like? Well, I'm gonna go let y'all figure yeah, it out. Yeah, but it depends on um if they said something. That's why I said, what if they said to that other girl, "We we'll have no problem with you, but we're here for this bitch right here." What if it was you? Would you have been like? I ain't finna let y'all do this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would've just been able to leave. But again, I don't hang out with people like that because of that. Yeah. But I don't know if I would've just been able to leave like that. If it was a bitch, I ain't know that I you had on your fight. own. Now, if it was somebody who I was cool with, then I would've stood yeah. my ground. Which is but why like I don't hang with people like that. the situation that Taco in, we done already, we hung out twice. I tried to tell you about your attitude. When this just based off what we hear from Taco, I would have been like, you know something, this shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to get my ass whooped. Yeah. Comment below what you would have done. And me personally, I wouldn't even been hanging out with nobody like that because I just don't like shit like that. But if it was somebody I fuck with, I wouldn't have been able to leave. Yeah, I don't even see how Taco end up hanging out with her again when she was already, but I guess she was like, I'm going to go and support her. I still wouldn't have been able to do that. If, if the vibe just would have been that bad to the point, like, I only want to hang out with you. I wonder what did the girl say? Well, she said the girl was like, I sent you to fly you because I just want you to come out and support me. So she said she did. Mm. She to me like, she was like, I, I don't know what happened. I just know I was fucked up. And I guess them bitches felt some type of way because I was throwing shit at the stud. Yeah, I say felt some type. Nigga, if that's your ex, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen. A lot of hoes not gonna play with you. <laughs> yeah. a, a lot of these hoes not gonna play with you, you know what I'm saying? And my thing is, if that's your ex and she there with her new bitch, her new bitch already know about you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, her new bitch was probably like, this hoe being funny, but this hoe don't even know, like, I'm gonna catch her ass. Sick. I'm in the cut. Yeah, a lot of bitches is not gonna play with you when it comes to their fucking significant other. So, it's talking about something. I was just being drunk. I was just being petty. I was just being stupid. I was letting a girl from the club hype me up. She had me throwing shit, throwing cups, throwing ice, pouring liquor on the she ground. She ain't had you her. doing nothing. I'm on the phone like, what the fuck? So, she said, next thing I know, I know I just swung on a hoe. We in there fighting. Had to be fighting for like a good five, ten minutes. Damn, hoe, you got some stamina. Huh? I popped a <laughs> perk and gave me more stamina. Huh? I fought that hoe like an animal. <laughs> five, ten minutes? That's a lot. That's a lot of cardio. <laughs> When I tell y'all, when I tell y'all this hoe was big as fuck, I'm talking about like 
nigga giving very much like that nigga from fucking Dragon Ball Z, the pink nigga with the <laughs> shit, with the fucking, what's that nigga? A mixture of him from Dragon Ball Z and, and goddamn Mewtwo from Pokemon. Put that together in the form of a fucking black woman. You already know we strong and fucking invincible. <laughs> you put that on top of the fact that this is a black woman? Nigga, this bitch is an Iron Man. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, hey, you was fighting for five to ten. <laughs> bitch, I'm on the phone intrigued. I'm like, do you, you want to you wanna go to the UFC? I can be your manager. Fuck you I'm going to make some money off your ass, crazy hoe. <laughs> Fuck you We had to be fighting for like five to ten minutes. Next thing I know, the police come in. The police like storm in the bathroom. They grab me. They grab the hoes. And she was like, yeah. And she was like, next thing I know, I'm outside. And that's when I see you. And I'm in the back of the cop car. And I'm just on FaceTime. She still ain't in the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, she got the camera she facing still. up. I'm on FaceTime. I'm like, what? What was your point? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then it'd be crazy when you be in jail and you see people who come in after like a wild night and they come in looking just like that. So like if she had blood on her big fat eyes and big fat lips, she in the jail, walking in the jail and women looking at her like, fuck happened to you? <laughs> Seeing all type of shit. I remember one time it was this one girl who came in. She was so fucking high off of some pills or something she popped. She was just sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Like, she was just fucked up out of it in another fucking dimension. <laughs> I know that happened to somebody. They said they was on some X pills. They had been, like, rolling for, like, a couple of days. Why they said when the cop came and got them, they was like, yes, please. <laughs> they was like, please. They said they fell asleep in the cop car on the way there. And they said they slept the whole time until they woke them up and was like, somebody here to bail you out. I said, damn. <laughs> at this point, <laughs> at this point, am I the drama? You're the drama. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, like what, what was your point? You know what I'm saying? She was just like, I don't know. I think I just felt some type of way because like my ex was in there. And I paused her right there. Yeah. Because like I told y'all, she DM'd me the flyer. The flyer was two slides. So the first slide was literally the flyer in the club and the location, what time. And bitches get in free till 12. After 12, you got to pay $10. Me, bitches, <laughs> I'm bitches. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I want my $10 back, nigga. So that was the first slide of the flyer. You swipe to the next slide. It's literally a line of who's performing. If this is your ex, you knew your ex was going to be there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You knew your ex was going to be there. So if you were pressed about the fact that your ex was in there performing and she was in there with her new bitch, you, you already knew that. You know what I'm saying? You knew that. You set yourself up for fucking failure. Yeah. If you was really going to have an attitude that your ex was performing, you shouldn't have performed then. I'm asking her. I was like, what, like, what was your point? She's talking about some. I honestly just think it's because like... I had I had drinks in me, so I was just feeling like I was feeling like extra. Like I don't know, it's like my ex was performing; it was kind of annoying me. And then the fact that like my lineup was right after her lineup, I felt like they did that on purpose. Bitch, don't nobody give a fuck about you. <laughs> yeah. Not even sound rude, but like they did that on purpose. Bitch, you was not Beyonce, and your ex is not Jay Z. Nobody give a fuck about you <laughs> like that. Tell myself they did that on purpose. You're literally a fucking Atlanta entertainer. It, everybody out here, everybody and their mama out here is a rapper. I promise you, they don't. Right. Give a, they didn't see your ex name and was like, yeah, put her right before her ex. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> that, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? The person who set up this lineup was literally a fucking white man. This nigga probably like, nigger, 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 nigger. <laughs> fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's setting up the list like, this nigger's gonna dance, this nigger's gonna rap, this nigger's gonna rap. <laughs> this yeah. whole just like, she just telling me like, I let the girl from my club hype me up. And next thing I know, you know, like all that shit happened in the bathroom. And next thing I know, I'm in Fulton County. Nigga, you are 77 years old. You let a bitch hype you up. You're grown as fuck. I don't like people like that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> people like that. I don't like shit like that. You grown as fuck. You let another woman hype you. If you have friends like this in your circle, get them out your fucking circle. If people can influence you that easily, you weak as fuck, bitch. You can easily become a fucking slave. If yeah. somebody can control your mind and your emotions and your feelings that goddamn well, you could be a slave. You let another grown woman hype your overly grown ass up and get your ass in that bathroom. They was in that bathroom like, Me chest snatched her heart out <laughs> 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 yeah, i'm like y'all was never y'all was never 
looking like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Huh? She's telling me like, I feel so bad. I feel so stupid. I feel so childish. My body hurt. My body fucked up. I'm in pain. Woo, woo, woo. I've been in the house since since Tia came and bonded me out. I owe her fourteen hundred, and you owe me ten dollars. <laughs> terrible. And I don't even know where that little bitch at. And I don't. I ain't been to the club. I ain't been to work since all this happened. I bet you have it. And that motherfucker looking like the damn monster from the Goonies. That bitch was bruised up, beat up. Fuck you talking about battered, scattered, ugly. He finally picked the phone up. She's showing me. Ooh, <laughs> they beat the motherfucker to her. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. You know how women like braid their hair down to put their fucking wig or their install. I don't fucking know. I don't know layman's terms. <laughs> I don't know what y'all do. I just know when y'all do it, it's fucking magical and it's sexy. So, you know, she had the braids because she had a wig on. Nigga, when I'm talking about, I'm talking about two braids was gone. Not they, not they was unbraided. Not it was like a good, pretty little fucking braid out. The braids was gone. I'm talking about like snatched. <laughs> Giving oh, very much a yeah. recall. Sure, like, Grace. Like snatched her out. Fuck you, yes, talking about. Nigga, shit swollen on this side. She got a big ass titty on this. They fucked titty. her Damn. up. The fuck they beat you with a wrench? <laughs> Bitches in that bathroom. Ooh, bitches in that bathroom using tools. I said, God damn, bitch, beat your ass with a toilet. This shit, this shit swollen big. Lip bust. She got like a cut on top of her mouth. Like, shit fucked up. I'm asking her. I said, <laughs> my dumb ass. I said, you good? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> I almost died. Fucking to me. I was like, you good? She was like, I just feel, I feel childish. I feel dumb. I just, my face fucked up. My body hurt. I, I don't know what to think of myself right now. Man, I felt so bad. I was just like, look. I was like, if you need anything, because <laughs> you know you're not going to leave the house. I said, yeah. I said, if you need anything, I was like, just let me know. And I'll like Instacart it or I'll door dash it. I'll even bring it by. Like, show you what fucked up, you know what I'm saying? And it, it just kind of fucked me up just even seeing her like that. After all that happened, we kind of, we didn't stop hanging out, but like communication started being scarce on both of our ends. Like, she stopped hitting me up. I stopped reaching out. And I was just like... You know what I'm saying? But like now she now she back on the gram. She popping her shit. She be dancing everywhere. She be goddamn out turned up. She done been in different countries, different cities. She turned up. You see, you know what I'm saying? Like she got a bunch of bookings and shit. Bitch living life, living well, you feel me? But like this situation, I know this shit humbled her. I know this shit humbled her, yeah. bro. Because it is just like you got your ass beat. Because I, I don't I don't really know. <laughs> let, let me reiterate before she sees this video. <laughs> and she be like, I got my ass beat, Taco. Really? <laughs> No. <laughs> fuck you talking about? <laughs> um, <laughs> look, um, fuck around. Don't make me shoot your big ass. Fuck you talking about? Not nah, real shit. Like, I, I, I don't know. It's like from the looks of it. <laughs> I don't know, but I just know like her shit was like whether whether or not you won, yo, you fucked up physically. Not still, but at this time when everything happened. You was fucked up physically. That could have went way worse. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like one of them whole, not even just you, one of them other bitches could have fucked around, slipped, slipped on a weave. <laughs> Cause the fact that they ripped her hair out and it was like all them other hoes, they hair fucked up. I know it was some weave on the ground. Bitch could have slipped on that shit like a fucking Mario Kart banana peel. <laughs> fucked around and poof. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a me, Mario. <laughs> in the bathroom spinning around. <laughs> Them bitches in the bathroom doing death drops. What you talking about? Pow! Went left in that bathroom. One of y'all could have died. Somebody could have hit their head. Yeah. Somebody could have swirly. What you talking about? That's what's really scaring the shit out of me. I would never fight in the bathroom. You're not gonna give me a swirly. That's fucking that. I would literally rip my head off my body. You put my head in a public restroom toilet. Mm, I'm gonna decapitate myself. <laughs> I'm gonna behead myself. What you talking about? I kind of felt bad, but at the same time, I'm thinking like this hoe probably. I bet that shit made her calm down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know for a fact that shit made her calm down. Like, you damn near 47 and you out here getting jumped because you at the party, you at the club being fucking childish and petty. You letting a hoe that work with you. You said you don't even know the whole name, really. You just know she be at the club dancing with you. You letting this hoe hype you up. Like, it, it, it's giving middle school, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know how, like, them little bitches in school used to play too much and be like, ha ha, I did this, now you go do that. Plan too goddamn, like, you know what I'm saying? And now them the same hoes as, that's fucking still living at home with their goddamn mama on their seventh fucking child working that goddamn Burger King, bitch, you know what I'm saying? All that bullying, all that fucking heckling, thinking you, thinking you gonna fucking be little people and that shit not gonna come back to bite your ass in the ass? Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you running around with this other bitch just being extra, being fucking over the top. 
now look at you you know what i'm saying like whether you won or not you fucked up you know what i'm saying so like like i said in the beginning you got to know when to give another person you got to know when to give a person another chance or when to cut them the fuck off and honestly after after literally after that situation like i was like i ain't got now <laughs> I ain't got no, huh? you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be out with you. Next thing I know, I'm getting jumped because you be yep. fucking hell no. Yeah. Honestly, after that situation, I kind of just was like, <clears throat> oh, I can't keep putting myself in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't fuck around. Like, imagine if that was me walking into the bathroom with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine, like, in, yeah. in a fucking, in a reverse universe, imagine if I was just coming in as soon as she had just finished being petty and throwing drinks and ice. Yeah. And she was like, oh, hey, Taco, you finally made it. Come in the bathroom with me. Imagine I'm tired Girl, what you do with I'm talking about that shit would have ended in a shootout. Crazy, you're not finna jump. <laughs> not fighting. All right, so I guess she answered the question because I was like, Well, what would Taco have done? She said she would have pulled out her gun and shot, then Taco would have been locked up. Yeah, but what's her gun in her car? Because if they shaking you down... Yeah, that's true. You see what I'm saying? That's true. So the flip side of it is, what would have happened... I want to know what she really would have done. Yeah, okay, so if they would have jumped her, so what, she would have went to her car and got her gun? I mean, I mean chances well, are you would have still been in there fighting. The thing is, it's like with Taco, <laughs> I mean, with people, period, when they black out, you don't know what they would have done. I don't know if she would have ran all the way to her car, but you never know if she got mad enough. But I'm just talking about... Raw, no, no gun. She probably fight dirty like you. She probably would have found some, pick some up, and maybe try to hang in there. I don't know, cause it's like when you, I'm talking about when you in the thick of it. Yeah. Like you can't, where you can't put up your church finger and uh be like, well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and catch y'all later. No, you in it. Honey. She, you just gotta get ready to go to war, man. You bitches. <laughs> Do you hear? Fighting you bitches and shooting you bitches. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I'm airing the whole scene. Crazy. I'm a, I'm a clitter bitch out. I'm a clitter bitch out. Crazy. I'm a clitter bitch. <laughs> moral of this fucking story: leave people fuck alone. Moral of this, mor main moral of this story: leave people alone. Don't, don't be out here thinking you gonna bitch and punk everybody. Cause I'm telling you right now, y'all gonna run into somebody on their last straw. And I'm telling you, you, you your ass gonna be on the t-shirt with, with the wings. <laughs> your ass gonna be on the t-shirt with the wings photoshopped in the back. You know what I'm saying? The wings and the clouds photoshopped in the back. <laughs> Long live our angel. Dumb ass, your angel is in hell. Fuck you to my, cause they was a bully they whole life. <laughs> Leave people alone. You don't know, you don't know what the fuck people going through. You don't know what the fuck people living with or dealing with or, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that can go for like, that can go for like violence or even just like sadness. Like violence can manifest into some shit. Sadness can manifest into some shit. You could be you could be somebody's last straw, and instead of taking it out on the whole world, they go home and take it out on themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or you could be somebody's last straw, and they take it out on everybody to fuck around them. Next thing you know, you in the middle of a mass shooting. <laughs> you on goddamn Joe Biden on the news talking about you. Yes, today's events were just so tragic, dumbass, <laughs> because of you. <laughs> Moral of the story, leave people to fuck alone. Don't be out here just being mean and nasty and rude to people because what you put out is going to come back. Another moral of this story is be your fucking self. Don't be out here letting people hype y'all up. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of them people that's hyping y'all to fuck up, y'all not even gonna be friends when some real shit pop off. They gonna leave your ass, leave your dumb ass high and dry, <laughs> like my grandmama say. Leave your ass high and dry. Whereas doing fucking 30 years of life while they running around free because they done hyped your stupid ass up to do something. I think like the last moral of the story is just be nice to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying be a punk and be a bitch and let people just walk all over you, but choose your battles wisely. Watch Don't me. be out here just popping off on everybody because Everybody don't have patience. Everybody not gonna play with you. Everybody not gonna walk away. You gonna fuck around and run into somebody that's not gonna walk away the same way you not gonna walk away. And now one of y'all dead or one of y'all in jail or the situation done escalated to more than what the fuck it should have been. That's it for the story time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I don't give a fuck. You probably got beat up too. And make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Make it. I already liked it. <laughs> All right, um, that was a 
a really cool story time. Yeah. I, I especially like the more of the story. I'm a big believer that it's best to go ahead and just try to check your ego before some type of situation have to check you and humble you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Whether And some things do slow people down, whether like a situation like you getting jumped or beat up or maybe you end up... I know some people get pregnant and have kids and that can slow them down too. Yeah. Make them be more responsible. Yeah. I think um, sometimes when people feel like they are um, bigger than most people, because she said this girl was 5'8". So to me, when I hear 5'8", I'd be like, damn, you're a nice size. I'd be thinking about Meg the Stallion. Mm-hmm. Like, bitch, I'm not about to fight you. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like, all right, it's this dude who I follow, and he is huge. And, you know, he did a TikTok. You know, the, the trend that's going on, like, that's why she choosing me. That's where the shooters be. But all I could think, I was like, nigga, you are so big that people would feel so threatened that they would come at you at a different angle. So yeah. just because you big don't mean shit. It just mean people are going to get dirtier with the way they fight you. Like I told you about when I told my jail story, I told y'all this huge girl came in loud, all that she had a big cut on her because most likely she got jumped and they had knives because they like, no, this bitch, she big. And that's probably what happened. Like Taco said, the same way she knew what the lineup was going to be, her ex knew she was going to be there. Yeah. And chances are, if the girlfriend was there, she probably was like, yeah, this big bitch, she was like, I just need y'all to come just in case because it ain't no telling. Yeah. So I think a couple of things went through her head. Hopefully, the conversation Taco had with her went through her head. Mm-hmm. And the fact that that situation happened to her, yeah, she felt like shit, but somebody tried to stop her before that even happened. I know. But she wasn't open to it. So just because you big don't mean that somebody always scared of you. Yeah, it don't oh, mean yeah. that somebody going to always bow down. Because that's what I said. It's like sometimes, you know, people when they look at you and they be like, your ass too big. They be like, I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to take your ass out. Yeah. And one more thing is make sure you pay attention to the signs. Like a lot of times you get signs and warnings before the escalation. Before yeah. the climax, so make sure you pay attention. Yeah, but you know what I thought was interesting about this? I knew somebody that had gotten to a certain age, and um, they always was ready to fight. And I want to say they was older than 35. Sometimes, to me, I feel like everybody can grow, right? But if you haven't had a certain type of growth by a certain age... I almost feel like it's harder to reach you. Especially like if you're not listening and if you're just a hothead and you like fuck that shit. And I end up having to tell somebody one time because they was asking me like what could they do to give her advice because they were a mentor. And I said I hate to say it. I was like but it's kind of late for them. Like they're really going to have to go and do some self reflection. You can say all the things that you want to say. But if they're not self-reflecting and trying to go on this journey of becoming a better person, it's going to go in one ear and out the other. So it's like, don't be that person where if somebody who don't have, it's no harm. Like, they want to see you grow. Listen. Be open to it. And like I said, even though it hurt, if you really look deep down in it, it's probably some truth to it. Especially if it hurts you. Mm -hmm. It's probably some truth to it. All right. Well, if y'all enjoyed the reaction, hit the subscribe button for more and like the video. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. We made this plan to meet up. It's 9-11. That's your number, and I'm here to remind you. You don't really need a lot of more of this. Because you know what it is. You know what it should be like. You never need a day approval. Don't be validation. You live it in your truth. Only when you feel it. That's why I'm tuning into your vibration.